What's up, NL students? It's Jordan Godwin here. I'm excited to worship with you guys today. Today, we're going to be singing Clean by Hillsong United. And this song has just been on my heart so much um, just the past few weeks. And it's just such a good reminder that we are cleansed and we are purified and we are made whole in Jesus Christ. And no matter what season of life you're in, whether it's a valley or a mountaintop, no matter if um, you are struggling with something specific or you messed up and made a mistake the lord still loves you and he's still good and you are still whole in him and so it's just a good reminder that we all need that i need every day so i'm excited to worship with you guys um and i hope you enjoy the song and just let it be your prayer and your anthem today um and just the days and weeks to come here we go Welcome back, everybody, to the New Liberty Students Podcast. This is another episode of our summer mini podcast episodes. I am Sean Driscoll. And I am and Kyle we're... Alonzo. And I am uh, Jacob was... Lawson. Jacob Lawson is our guest this week. Uh, Jacob's going to be a sophomore at Saxe High School this coming year, mm -hmm. uh, whatever that kind of looks like. So, uh, Jacob, tell us a little bit more about yourself. Like, what do you like to do in your spare time? Um, just dance. Dance? Okay. Kyle likes to dance. I sure do. You I'm also have a, you, you also have a YouTube video, don't you? Or YouTube channel, don't you, Jacob? Yeah. Well, and so if somebody wanted to find you on YouTube, would they just type in your name? Yeah, they just type my name. Okay, so you spell your name a little differently. How do you spell your name? J A Y C O B. Awesome. And then last name Lawson, correct? Yes. W it's a L A W S O N. Yes. So if you want to watch Jacob, Jacob's YouTube channel, just type in his name on YouTube search engine and you should be able to find him. He does a lot of videos covering a lot of topics. Well, I actually have two now. I have my personal one and I have my other one you know about. Okay. But they're both the same name. So you should, okay. so you should find both of them. Okay, perfect. Good deal. Sounds well, good. Well, Jacob, we're excited to have you on the podcast uh, devotional this week. Thanks for coming on. You're welcome. 
So, Sean, we what what verses are we covering this week as a as a as a student ministry? So, the reading this week for Colossians is going to be out of First Colossians and Second Colossians. We're kind of combining them there a little bit. Uh, first Colossians one verse twenty four through chapter two verse five. Uh, in my little Bible, it has little headings for sections like this, and this one's titled Paul's Labor for the Church. Uh, but today we're going to kind of focus mainly on the verses what, 27 through 29. It's kind of what we're talking about today, mostly. Correct, yes. So, now last week we kind of had four questions for you to kind of see how to break down Scripture for you. Today we're going to do a little different method. We're going to do the SOAP method, uh, S-O-A-P, and that stands for S, Scripture, O, Observe, A, Apply, and P, Prayer. And you'll kind of see what we mean by those as we go through this. Uh, so let's kind of read through this, this these uh, first three verses here. Uh, I'll do 27. Kyle, you want to do 28? And Jake, if you want to do 29? Yes, that's fine. All okay. right. So I've got it here. Um, to them God has chosen to make known among the Gentiles the glorious riches of this mystery, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. We proclaim him by instructing and teaching all people with all wisdom so that we may present every person mature in Christ. For this, I toss, struggle, strangling with all his energy that he powerful works with me. All right. Man, thanks, Jacob. So, so that is the S portion of our scripture. You first had to find a passage of scripture to look at and kind of <laughs> analyze. Easy go. enough on that one. Yep. Uh, so the second thing, the O, observe, is what did you observe out of the, this passage? So kind of what sticks out to you, what jumps out? Uh, so let's, let's start with uh, Kyle. Kind of what jumped out at you on this one? Yeah, definitely, man. So obviously we continued reading from what we started last week. We ended in, in that beginning portion of Paul's ministry, and now we're moving on towards his goal. And, you know, as a pastor, uh, this part really stuck out to me, verse 28. So it's fitting that you had me read that section. But the thing I have is, <laughs> um, <laughs> we proclaim him by instructing and teaching all people with all wisdom that we may present every person mature in Christ. So as a minister, that is like, you know, that's my goal. That's my aim. Uh, not, I mean, mainly to please Christ. But when I observe this, you know, um, that just jumped off the page at me. So like last week, we, we walked through one way to observe scripture whenever you, and one way to study scripture with uh, asking those four questions. SOAP is obviously different, another way, uh, very similar. We did this in the student ministry last school year. We did it so much, I think, that people were like, we get it now, we get it. <laughs> you know? And that's what we want. We want to just drill it into people's minds. And so this is something that jumped off the page. So if you're doing SOAP for a text, um, you read a verse of scripture, there is going to be something because the Bible is living and active that jumps off the page of you when you're reading that verse, when, the, when you're reading those verses. And so for me, verse 28 just like came off the page, man, in a way that what's all those movies with um, Nicolas Cage and uh, history and all that? What are, what are the National movies? Treasure? National Treasure. Like the way that you'd see, like that's kind of what, what went through my mind. But like that's what happened when I read verse 28. It just jumped off the page at me. All right. Jacob, what did you think? What jumped out at you in these scriptures? Um, and it could be anything, Jacob, from verse uh -huh. 24 all the way to chapter 2, verse 5. Mm hmm. It's like his faith, like, you know, you can, like, trust in him. There you go. That's a good one. That jumps out. That's something to remember, good to remember. Yeah, I mean, uh, Paul talks about how he suffered, right? And he wouldn't suffer if he didn't have trust and faith in God. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's good, Jacob. So, Jacob, when you're reading this, what other things kind of stuck out to you? Maybe you, did you journal anything or learn anything? Um, let me see. Um, you always have to like rejoice in his word and give him praise. Right. That's good. That's good there. 
Yep, Paul talks, Paul writes that a lot, doesn't he, in this section? Yeah. I rejoice in my sufferings in verse 24. Um, mm -hmm. You know, he continues to talk a lot about Jesus because the church in Colossae, um, they had been taught something that contradicted Paul's teaching of Jesus. So he's having to remind them that Jesus is God. And he's like, look, I'm suffering for this reason. And I find joy in suffering because I want you guys to know the mystery of Christ. So good job, Jacob. That's good. Thank you. And say with me, it was the, the word wisdom keeps jumping out, you know, with all wisdom. There's a difference between wisdom and teaching. Um, all wisdom is, is, I would say, is you're teaching people what the Bible says. So you're also listening and, and to other people's thoughts and opinions, um, mm -hmm. as long as it's biblical and scriptural. So it's always good. You're always, Kyle, you're always reading a new book to kind of get a new idea about how things are being done or new thoughts. Right. But it's not all learning. Because sometimes we're taught things that aren't correct. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. Learning. I mean, what to you, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, we even have like in, just in the history books, you're being told, you know, who was the first person to reach the Americas? Well, it's not Columbus. Actually, there were people already living here first off. So it wasn't really discovered. But, right. you know, there's finding out that the Vikings actually made it here long before Columbus. And Columbus didn't actually hit on America. He hit the islands of the, of the Caribbean. So, you know, we learn things, but they're not always true. Wisdom is always true. And that's mm -hmm. what helps us mature is that wisdom and that truth. All right. So then on to the A part of SOAP, the apply. This is how does it apply to our lives? Uh, so what do we get out of it? What, how do we live this out that we've, you know, from these scriptures? Kyle, we'll start with you again. Yeah, definitely. So I, um, like I said, verse 28, as a pastor, something that really resonated with me, and my goal is to make sure that every student that comes through the youth ministry is presented mature in Christ. Now, that, you know, I'm, I can teach students, I can lead them to water, I can't necessarily make them drink, <laughs> right? So um, students, and students, and I mean, people in general, not just teenagers in youth ministry, but you know, at some point, you have to start taking ownership of your faith. And so just like I'm feeding River right now a bottle, I better not be doing that in a couple of years. You know, um, I want her to grow. And the same with students. It's really neat to see students come through the youth ministry. And then when they graduate, like this graduating class here, you know, they're teaching people. Uh, they're taking what they learned about Christ and they're, they're running, not just crawling anymore. And so my goal of all the teaching that, that I do, uh, not just on a podcast or something on YouTube or uh, through Life Group, is that I'm teaching with my life. I'm teaching um, with our wisdom and, and encouragement and knowledge. It's not just because we like hearing our, the sound of our voice, right? Like we always talk about teachers in school or right. uh, just talking for long periods of time, but that we, the, the means to the end, that we, we want people to learn, take the knowledge that they've learned about God, apply it to their life and, and, and see how they can mature into, into Christians that are growing on their sanctification. And so for me, I just read that and I was like, yes, this is what I, it really, Sean, it reminded me of my job. It reminded mm -hmm. me of what I'm called to do. Today I was reading um, Ezekiel 33 and it was just talking about the shepherds should not be feeding themselves as they were doing it, self-indulgent. They need to be feeding the flock. And, and so that was just a really good reminder for me to say, Kyle, your, your job is to teach these, these students so that they can be full, become fully mature in Christ. Um, and it's how cool is it that God chooses to use me for that? I don't deserve it. I'm imperfect. Uh, but it's cool to see that happen. There you go. Paul's labors for the church. Jacob, what do, how, how do you see the, uh, you, you living out the scripture that you read? And applying um, it to your life. Well, it just, like, it helps me, like, tell people more about it. And it helps me okay. um, it helps me know more about God and like how he works with us and in us. Yeah, I like, I like what you said, Jacob. You said that I can teach people about God because it's not just me or Sean or any of the leaders or pastors, mm -hmm. but, you know, as Christians, we are supposed to take what we've learned and go teach it to others. So 
what you're saying then is that everyone is teaching somebody something. Yeah. So you, so when people look at you, they're learning something about God from the way that you live your life. Mm -hmm. So what do you think that you, with the way you've lived your life or lately, what do you think somebody can learn about God from watching you live out your faith? Um, I'm not sure on that question. How about the way that you forgive your siblings? Do you think that somebody would say, oh, wow, that's really amazing that you forgave your sister? Yeah. Um, I got to brag on you, Jacob, but, you know, I've heard from, you know, your parents talk about that, you know, you read the Bible. You know, you, they're wondering, wondering what Jacob's doing and you're, oh, you're reading the Bible. So what are you teaching people about God by you just reading the Bible? What do you think you're teaching people that see you read God's word? Um, not to know his word and like what the Bible like means. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I, I know that whenever I would, um, when I worked at Bog Springs, Sean, mm -hmm. uh, we would be getting ready for the day and Graham would be reading his Bible and yep. we would all be walking by doing whatever, you know, and you see somebody reading their Bible. There's nothing more convicting <laughs> than seeing somebody read their Bible in their free time. And you see them and you're like, Oh, I should be doing that. <laughs> Especially when you're working at a Christian camp. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. so, and so Jacob, so just by reading the Bible, man, even if you come to church and you're just hanging out while other people are playing and you're reading the Bible, you're showing, other people what it looks like to have a hunger for God and to get to know him. So I, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm, I praise God for your life and the desire that he's given you to follow him. Yeah. So and then my apply is don't stop learning. Don't think you know it all. Cause he said all in the world at wisdom, things are constantly changing. Uh, Kyle and I, you've and I've talked about before that youth ministry looks completely different from when I was in the youth group to now. Yeah. And that's just because things change. The message hasn't changed, but how you do things and, and new ways and new ideas are all important as long as they're biblical and truthful way based. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. All right. So then we are now on to the last letter of soap, the letter P, which is pray. So how can we pray based off what we are supposed to do? So what we've just read, we talked about how we're supposed to learn, supposed to be examples. Um, and, and, you know, uh, for everybody and encourage others to grow. What is a prayer thing? What is something you would want to pray for that has to do with this scripture? Kyle, <laughs> Aster. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I want to make sure that when it comes to motives for ministry that my motives are pure. You know, I, it'd be really easy to, I mean, I've talked about this on the podcast before, you know, um, I'm not trying to put together a sermon to let people know how smart I am or how funny I am or how great of a public speaker I am, but that the goal of the teaching is to me is to educate people that they may take that and grow. And so one, I can pray for myself and my own motives that how, and, and that would, how can I present something in the best way possible that would help somebody grow? And then um, praying for myself in God, how am I living a life that's teaching others about you? So, exactly. Now, I, th I think Jacob just dropped off. Uh, yeah, I think we lost him there. So, but we'll keep going here. If he calls back in for the last couple of minutes, we'll do that. But, okay. Uh, but I would say the same thing. One of mine is, is just remember, I don't know it all. Um, and be open to new ideas and people's right. opinions and their thoughts, you know, cause the older you get, the, the more set in your ways you get. And, and I, I, I try my best not to get set in my ways when it comes to stuff, but sometimes I do. I'll fight for some things that should stay the same, but yeah, that's kind of where I would think my prayer a lot for a lot of this is to keep learning, being open, but making sure that it all is, it's actually wisdom that we're doing. So, yeah, that's good. That's, good. that's something right. else that's really neat is that 
if you read scripture, you know, rather than just praying to God, hey, God, thank you for today, you know, thank you for this food you blessed me with or whatever. Um, oh, shake up. You know, but praying, saying, I'm going to pray scripture back to God. I'm going to read the Bible, see what it has to say, and I'm going to let the Bible's words dictate my prayers. You know, so something that I would do sometimes is I would read this. Let's say I read this, Sean, you know, yeah, our, our motivation or that I'm teaching somebody, something, making them mature in Christ. My prayer would be, let's say you're on my heart today or Jacob's on my heart. Home. And I'm praying for Jacob. Then what I would say is, God, I pray for Jacob. I pray for his mind and that he realizes that he is teaching somebody today with his actions and his words. So like I let the, the Bible kind of dictate my prayer for that person rather than just what they may need for that day. All right. Jacob's back here. So Jacob, we've been talking about the how you're going to pray for yourself using this. You know, what do you want to pray for yourself using this scripture? So what what are your thoughts on it? Um, I just want to like, like when I read the scripture, I just want to like use it like in my daily life so like I can show people like what it means and what's the purpose for the, um, the verse. Okay. Praying for the opportunity to apply it to your life and also show others. That's good. That's a good one to pray for. Yep. So. All right. Well, that is pretty much our whole episode. Like I said, there are many episodes that are shorter. Um, that's kind of all we have here at the top. That's the SOAP method. S-O-A-P. Scripture, observe, apply, pray. Um, Kyle, anything you want to mention announcement-wise? Because yeah, I know man. we got a bunch of stuff coming up. Yeah, we do. want to mention three things real quick. Um, if you're listening, this uh, Friday, I guess it's going to be tomorrow. Where This is Wednesday when we're recording. But Friday... Uh, the 19th. The 19th of June. So tomorrow, if you're listening to it, the day this comes out, we are having a movie night in Turner Hall. Um, Sean, what movie are we going to watch? Spider-Man? It'll, it'll be something Spider-Man themed. Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't uh, decide quite which one be it, but we got them all. So we're going to watch a Spider-Man movie. movie. Um, we're really excited just to get together. We're just excited exactly. to be able to be together, hang out. We're going to have some prepackaged snacks. We're going to be able to hang out with your friends a little bit. Um, it's just going to be a really good time. So, feel free to bring your own snacks, uh, pillows, own. blankets, things like that. Yeah. Yep. But so, make sure you read the guidelines that we've been posting. Read the guidelines. Yes. And it'll be 630 Friday night. So uh, that's the first thing coming up. Our next, uh, our second of three announcements is we have City Reach of Garland. If, and the cool thing is, Sean, you don't have to be in high school to go to the City Reach. You can be Not in this time. So, but if you, if you are leaving sixth grade, because um, if you're going into sixth grade, we still ask that you do things with the, with the kids ministry until uh, August. So wait so, till launch. Till launch. And so next Wednesday and Thursday, we're going to have City Reach Garland. Uh, we're going to start in Turner Hall. We are going to work on stuff for our food pantry and potluck. And then we're going to go over to Saxe and help out with uh, the five loaves food pantry. Uh, we're going to go hand out water bottles. We're going to go try to do a can drive. It's going to be a good way to share the love of Christ with our community. And so we'll have some worship. We'll have lunch will be provided. So I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be two days. We'll go home at the end of each day, come back the next day. Um, it's just going to be a great opportunity to serve. So really hope that you can make it on Wednesday and Thursday. It's completely free. There you go. And then, Sean, our last announcement is a big reminder. This Sunday, the 21st, is Father's Day. You, you are, if you're listening to this, you're almost out of time to get <laughs> yeah. something for your dads. Yeah. So. I just got something for my dad yesterday. I've had something. I forgot I had something already for him. We're looking at something else, but I can't say because he listens the day this comes out. So <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. There you go. So, Bill, sorry. Gotcha. Um, uh -huh. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so Father's Day, guys, Sunday. You ready for that? I'm excited. It's my first Father's Day, so I'm really excited for that. That'll be really cool. Um, but anyway, um, hey, guys, it's really uh, – thank you guys for listening in. Um, uh, Sean, you want to go ahead and recommend some of our social media to everybody? Yep. So if you want to follow us, uh, on Instagram, it's NL students, all NL and S are all 
capitalized podcast. Uh, we have the Facebook group, New Liberty Student Podcast. You can follow the videos and devos on Kyle's YouTube with Kyle Alonzo. Um, one other thing to remember, too, is we are starting to meet back as a church. So if you're coming, make sure you go on to the Regather um, link and register for how many are coming, who you are, things like that. Determines kind of where you're going to sit. Uh, we have Turner Hall. We've done the Annex and the Sanctuary. So, uh, But only if you feel comfortable. If you still don't feel comfortable, you can watch from on the on the Facebook still. So. Yeah, absolutely. And if you want to do that, it's newliberty.com slash regather. So there you go. You would register every Sunday. But anyway, I, but um, J hey, Jacob, we want to give a shout out to Jacob. You still there? Yeah. There Jacob, thank you so much for joining us on this weekly devotional. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks, man. You're welcome. So, all right. Well, in that case, then, I am Sean Driscoll. I'm Kyle Alonzo. And we will talk to y'all later next week. All right. Bye, everybody. See y'all.